All right, welcome back, everyone. First of all, I have a bit of updates to share. One, I do plan to cram two more videos in by the end of the week, this being one of them. And two, I will be a bit busy with some meetings for the next week or so. With that being said, I hope you have all been having a good start of the year. At least this is when I recorded this, and hopefully I will upload not too long after. Anyways, let's look at some more symbolism. So before we started with the symbol I, which is also a word and letter, now let's perhaps look at the next symbol, that symbol being the arrow, which is usually the word I, that is tapering to a single point and also leading to a certain point, perhaps. Now, obviously, for those of you that aren't aware, and I assume every single one of you should be aware, an arrow can point in any number of directions. In any direction, I should say. Now, there are multiple things that this symbol can represent. The primary one and easiest one to figure out being direction, for the arrow is pointing in a certain direction. So what about curved arrows or zigzag arrows? What about arrows that turn? Well, we can start with the curved arrows, particularly this symbol right here, which consists of two curved arrows pointing in the same direction, each arrow pointing at the back of the other arrow. For those of you familiar with the concept of reincarnation, this symbol should ring a bell. While I personally have not found any such hard evidence for reincarnation, as with many other magical practices and concepts out there, in terms of hard or quote unquote scientific evidence, now, there are some very good points about it, one of them being the idea that everything in the universe will at some point return to its source and that everything is part of a cycle. For those of you familiar with the seven hermetic principles and the Kabbalion, this should sound much like the law of rhythm. In fact, this is a part of the law of rhythm. And I think that'll be about it for this time. I will most likely make a part two in the near future. And that will be it for now. See you next time.